Hi, Dr. Rohan Virani here and today I am going to discuss the primary differences between the impact implants and the R-line implants. Now please don't get confused, R-line implant series are also manufactured by impact implant company. Now all these implants are manufactured in Israel with the state of the art technology but we will not get into that. Right now I am discussing what is the primary difference between the impact. So the impact company itself manufactures its own single piece implants which they call it the impact implants and they also manufacture a design which is given by me to them from my years of experience and it is termed with the reference of my name Rowan so it is R-line series. So impact R-line series which routinely we call it R-line implants. So now we have two different designs by the same parent group the impact implants and the R-line implants and let me show you with a closer look how they differ. So just come closer please. So as you see here on my left hand side these are the impact implants over here and if you see here on the on my right that is to the left of your screen you will be seeing this R-line implants which is like the silver color implants. Now as you see clearly over here the first important thing is the sharp apical tip. If you see the sharp apical tip here it will help you penetrate the uh, slopes of the bone very easily. Now lot of times you will see in extraction sockets or in reserve jaw the bone is never flat it is always sloping and you will see that when you try to place the implant your implant keeps slipping buccally or palatally but when you have a sharp apical tip it will really catch your osteotomy really nicely and help you place the implant so that's point number one apart from various other uh, you know changes in the design i'm just covering the major ones right now so just come closer again second which you see over here is this sharp tip as you see here you can see this progressive tip if you look closely they are running vertically upwards as opposed to them running horizontally in the implants just go as closer as possible as close as possible please and if you observe carefully you will see the threads are running vertically upwards as opposed to them running horizontally so this will give you a very uh, high torque because of the aggressive design and it will have a bone compaction effect this threads also have a horizontal slot so which means what you are seeing with your naked eye is just the vertical slots but it also has a slight horizontal slot at the outer end which will give you a very nice torque especially for your pterygoid implants and areas where the bone is soft which is normally the case in the Indian jaws. Next if you see the pitch that is the distance between the two threads it's a progressive pitch it's not like the threads are there and the distance is same the pitch is constantly changing it's called a progressive pitch design which will again give you a very high torque. The next very important part about it and the beauty of this implant is the shaft. So I've already uploaded a lot of videos where I'm showing the bending of these implants. As you know for a single piece implants for correcting the prosthetic angulation bending of the implants is very important. And you will see that with the R-line series of implants the bending is just like a cakewalk. Never you will find that in case even if you are putting excess torque you will never find the head breaking off which is another very important thing. So though it is elastic to bend it is rigid enough to prevent the fracture of the implant head. Next just come closer. If you see here now and this is not to put down any implant or criticize but if you see here there is a one step here and two step here with another abutting collar which is not there over here. Now why I have done this is lot of times again because the implants are sloping if you have multiple collars you will not know especially if you are doing flapless where to end your margins but when you have only a single collar it becomes very easy for you to give good prosthetics to the patient so this is I feel one of the most important characteristics which gives us very nice excellent prosthetics for all our patients and a nice wonderful fit around the neck. Just come closer again please. Now next what you see here is the horizontal grooves which are made on the abutment as well as a vertical groove. Now here if you see there is just one vertical groove but here if you come closer and see you will see lot of horizontal grooves as well as a vertical groove. So as you have guessed it all our implant prosthetics are cement retained. You really want a good cement retained prosthesis. You don't want your prosthesis to dislodge which means when you have horizontal and vertical grooves your retention will improve, uh, will increase your surface area for bonding the cement will increase. Apart from it if you see here 
After working on many many patients, I have found out that this abutment head size is ideal. So we don't want so we don't want uh, to have a, a very unnecessary big abutment size where we have to keep milling. At the same time, we don't want this very small abutment size where you know sometimes after milling nothing remains. So based on all these experiences, the R-Line implant series has been designed. So I've compared this with the impact implant system. Now mind you, Trisa Enterprise sells both the impact single piece implants as well as the R-Line implants based on the design which you feel is good based on your economic situation because both the costing for both these implants is different. You can pick the design which best suits your needs. Till next time, thank you very much.